good morning i like to show you the garden this morning and i think we are going to take a look at sorrow i have sorrow here and i'm going to show you at multiple areas of the garden that's the backyard here and it's kind of wet the ground is wet but that's sorrow i have two varieties i have a red one red vein sorrow i believe that's the name and this is the green one that's what i use to make salad and i use it like spinach as well in cooking so it's a perennial and that's April 8th today. And you can see it's harvestable already. And I will show you its growth throughout the season for you to see the different stage of it. And this is a branch from last year that I had to pull out as well. I just let it go to seed. And that's the branch from last year that is just breaking down in place. So I will take that out later but you can just see that it's growing well here. I can show you another one in the garden and that will be here as well. And you can see that I mulch my garden with leaves and I didn't come back to move the leaves around. So that's sort of right there let's see where we can find it as well in fact we can find it here i have a fence within fence to prevent deer to come in the garden and let's see if i can get you close but that's right there as well with the weed but you can see it there as well that one is doing fine as well so let's move And last year I have a big patch here. Let's and I think it's coming back, but you can see the leaves here in the mulch under the mulch. But that's that, and I've been taking moving those flowers out of the way. But I have a big one here as well. So that's where they are at this point. I used to have a red one here, but I noticed that the red one comes back late in season. So there is a bunch of leaves there. So I don't know if it's underneath it or not. So, and pretty much I propagated to have multiple uh, plants. And they are here as well. And that's this one here. I know I have a feeling like something, if Bunny got in the garden, Bunny will have mulch on it. I feel like something mulch on it. I have another one here. And they are just few feet apart from each other. One there and one here. And I have another one there as well, about a foot from the one that I just showed you. And I have one here. So that's how I propagate, I propagated them to have, I have it here as well. So that, you know, they, some of them I do well in some area more than others. But having many plants allow me, allows me to have enough supply and I like to freeze it for winter use. And I will use it all summer as well. That's one here. And you can see the roots. This one has not been mulched properly, but you can see 
them here coming back and I will show you through all the season how I propagate them as well when we get there but let's go to the front yard to and I don't know how many plants we saw here one probably two well I'll be wrong if I'm counting three four five six seven eight nine plants but I'm sure I have more than that there and I do know that I have at least one in this area of the garden but I'm not seeing it yet so let's go to the front to see what we have there I have a garden at the front and garden at the back and I like to fence the garden to prevent deer to get in and the front yard I have a small spot here right few feet away from the building and my kitchen is right here so I will just come out and have some green so I have sorrow here as well and bunny does not bother even though this area is not fenced it's totally fine and I propagated it last year so this one is a new plant that I'm trying to grow and I should have few plants here as well but those two are the ones that are quite obvious. So this is the bigger part of the front yard that I've turned into a garden. You can see how they is heavily mulched. And when I originally plant, planted sorrow, I planted them here at the front, the seed that I purchased. And I have been and I dug later, I dug some to the back and I've been propagating them ever since. So that's one bunch right here in my front garden. That's another one there, just few feet away from each other. And I have a third one there as well. And they can look like, like that is not sorrow, is yellow duck. I believe they are in the same family or something like that so but when we continue this is Soro right there as well and there as well so I have quite a bit of them here and it's kind of shady here but they seem to be doing very well and when we move forward We have one plant here and all that just came from few seeds that are spread what I just told you and I have been propagating them ever since to have made multiple plants and look at this one very easy very like it's really already for me to have some if I let it too long it will start going doing this brown but i mean sometimes i let them grow taller but they are you know that's just april and already i have ready to eat grains in my garden and that's one plant here as well let's continue our trip for more discoveries That's one here, that's one there, and I can just show you this area. That's an area I have a lot of onion, and I have them between them as well. So we saw that one, and we saw this one. So if we continue, I have one here as well. 
so you can see how fresh they are very easy to harvest and this for example I can just make salad and if I have all the ingredients I'll be able to make salad this week easily because I have everything here I can just give you an example I'll get a lot of sorrel here I have chives that is growing here that will go in my dressing I have dandelion right there that will go in it and that's dandelion here as well and I have a weed already garlic mustard that I have a video about but you can see it here that's that I have a, a lot in the garden and so that will go in it as well and the chive I have kefir in the fridge that I can mix with the chive and add a little oil to it for the dressing that's the dressing right there and I'll mix the greens I have grape in the fridge that I will just chop up add it to it and I'll boil eggs add it to it. a lot of time I will use like one or two dozen of eggs for the number of people in the house and pretty much that will be a nice a, a big bowl of salad that we will eat with bread so that's soro that i wanted to show you today and that's a garlic mustard here as well it's edible but that's a weed so that's how i grow greens perennial greens and it's just warming up here in zone five and already i have my garden waking up with a lot of edibles that i can cook with or uh, uh, using my cooking uh in the kitchen thank you for watching i'm afiavi ojune libreman creators of women consulting llc youtube channel and owners of nina soap and our website is ninasoap.com.